Hi guys, and welcome back to Ask Reese, where I answer your questions about real estate. Today, uh, it's just a question about, uh, I guess, the new year um, and getting your home ready for sale, uh, and just what my top three uh, tips are for preparing your house. Number one, by far, would be paint. Now, that's twofold. Um, I went and looked at a house uh, last week, and look, we're having a good chat about painting and things like that. Before you start, I would highly recommend you get uh, an exterior wash um, of your home, as well as if internally, I'd probably um, be getting stuck into like the sugar soap and give uh, give you all your walls and trims all a really thorough clean. So, um, but painting, painting, I think is like fantastic bang for your buck. Paint is not overly uh, expensive, especially if you're just touching up and, and things like that. I'm not so much talking about like getting a full repaint for the specific purpose of selling, but if you're just touching up, freshening things up, um, I reckon paint number one by a mile. Uh, number two, uh, just moving on from, uh, I guess I touched on a little bit in terms of like cleaning and, and washing your walls. For me, the biggest thing that I see is uh, cleanliness is highly underrated. People just don't realize... Uh, I guess to the degree of which um, you can get uh, something clean and just how that impacts your sale. I think if your property is immaculate in every sense of the word, uh, the end of the time, at the end of the day, cleaning really, even if you have, don't have much money to spend, most people uh, have the capacity to put in the effort. Um, and look, honestly, in most cases, that's what it is. Put in the effort to really get your property clean. Um, everything down to you know window tracks and just being meticulous. Um, I think if you've got a property that's uh, meticulously clean, let's say, um, or immaculate, even if that property is not in the best condition or it's dated or anything like that, I think it's still going to be a huge bang for your buck. Um, all it's really going to take, I mean, obviously a few cleaning products and things like that, but the main thing is just time and energy and a bit of effort, a bit of elbow grease, and uh, you'll be blown away. The third one for me, uh, probably obviously not applicable for uh, if you're in a high-rise unit, but if you're in a house, would be the yard. Get your lawns mowed, uh, mulch your gardens, weed your, weed the garden bed. Um, if you've got hedges, things like that, get them trimmed. Just get just get your yard presented well. Um, even if you just ramp up, uh, if it's been dry, just ramp up the watering a little bit. Um, or if you if you're able to in the area that you're at. But I think that if you can get your your, your lawns really tidy, uh, the gardens tidy, just neat and tidy. Again, it's it's like an extension of cleanliness like how the yard is presented i think how your yard presents and then if the property is clean like it's just a great reflection even if it hasn't been like that before uh and you're only just getting it to that stage it still comes across and presents uh for any prospective buyers coming through they're looking at the property going wow they really look after this property and i think it probably puts buyers at ease seeing that well they've taken the time to present the property uh, well, um, there's a high high likelihood that maybe it's like this all the time, or at least most of the time. So I think that's a real uh, a real big plus. So guys, I really hope that helps. Um, my three uh, three top tips I think for getting a property ready for sale, especially if you're looking at doing that in the new year. Um, really hope that helps. If you've got any questions at all, as always, post them below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.